and I've been working with recruitment for 25 years. I've specialized in recruitment for internationals um, and it's because I bring my own experience within the field. Mm -hmm. I've lived in Switzerland, I lived in the Netherlands, I worked in Germany and I know how it is to come to a new country to learn a new language, how to adapt and to adjust and to, uh, to contribute. Um, and it's, um, it's been a personal passion for me and, uh, and it's the greatest feeling to being able to help someone who comes new here to find their way here and succeed in receiving an employment and make their own way here then I've done my job and I'm very happy to assist where I can. Yeah. A lot of jobs are posted on LinkedIn, so that's a very good source in looking for job opportunities. There are also a lot of job boards that you can look for, for example, the local or Indeed. Um, you could also, if you are already registered in Sweden, uh, apply to Arbetsförmedlingen, which is the national job agency. They are very active with helping um, with job searches as well. Might be a bit tricky if you don't speak Swedish. However, seek for opportunities where Swedish is not needed. But I would say that LinkedIn might be the best source for this. As an EU member or a member of an EEA country, you are free to live and work in Sweden. You can stay in Sweden for three months before registering here. However, in order to register to get access to the social security system, you need to prove that you have an income. So even if you're an EU or an EEA member, uh, you will need to have a job in order to stay here long, long term, unless you have um, you're registered with a partner here. As a non-EU or EEA member, uh, you will need a working and a residence permit in order to stay in Sweden. A working permit can only be, be applied by, by an employer, which means you will need to secure a position, a job, before applying for a job uh, permit. It's a bit of a virtual circle because you need a job to get the permits, uh, but you need a permit in order, order to, to get the job. Also, you cannot be in the country while the working permit is being processed. It's very important to know that it's only the company that can apply for the working permit uh, if you come here for a job. If you come here as a spouse for someone who has secured a working permit already, then you have free access to the system and will also be able to work in the period that the spouse's permit is valid. In order to get a job permit or a working permit to work in Sweden, a company needs to be certified by the Migration Service. Without that certification, they cannot apply for a visa. So you need to uh, have an employer that is able, willing and able to go that process or do that process for you. Um, some bigger companies like IKEA, Spotify, etc., they have that all in place. But it could be smaller startups or smaller companies that still need an international talent or a specific talent that needs to apply for a visa. But then that company needs to register themselves with the migration service first. Unfortunately, that's a long process. Um, so if they're not certified, they need to get the certification first. But once they are certified, they can apply for a working permit via a fast track, which means that can only or will only maybe take two or three weeks uh, rather than applying for a permit uh, without the fast track certification that will take months.
we covered a little bit about um, the working permits and, and if you're allowed to live and work in Sweden. Um, once you're moved to Sweden and you are staying here, you need to register in order to be a part of the system. Um, by registering, you're registered by the tax office and you get a personal number, which is called person number. Without that number, you're sort of lost in Sweden uh, because it gives you access to everything. So healthcare, a school system, uh, you need it in order to get a bank, you need it in order to get a house, uh, renting or buying. So the personal number is your DNA in Sweden, so to say. Um, I also get a lot of questions in, uh, on how quickly you can access to this number. Um, you need to have a, a job in order to register in order to get job, uh, uh, get personal number, because it is your ticket into the social security system in Sweden. You get a lot, but you also are um, obliged to contribute by paying taxes. And that is also all connected to your personal number. Sometimes it takes only a week to get the number and sometimes it could take months. Um, I remember when I re-registered from being abroad for many, many years, uh, I came back to Sweden and I said, hello, I'm back. It took me two months in order to get my personal number reactivated. So if it takes time, it's because they're busy and don't take it personally. But you need a personal number in order to get access to the system in Sweden. Yeah. Well, the jobs that are in demand at the moment are everything within IT engineering. So DevOps, front-end, back-end, and everything that has to do with building tech. And those companies are also um, more attractive to internationals as there is only English spoken in generally. So anything within IT engineering um, is in demand. But also I see, uh, for example, uh, marketing automation uh, is also in demand uh, and usually only on English spoken. Um, so anything, anything with the digitalization, um, I would say, um, you will have chances. Um, but also within engineering, R&D, uh, you know, Ericsson do apply, uh, employ a lot of non-Swedish non speakers for, for these roles. So all these sectors are, um, are attractive to international um, um, employees. Um, life science tech is also more and more important. Uh, so there you can also uh, have chances if you do not speak Swedish. Um, so anything but in innovation and, and tech, I would say, that's, that's the most demanding uh, area at the moment. It's a fact, however, though, that Sweden also needs doctors, nurses, teachers. Um, maybe within those sectors, Swedish is more required. However, um, you know, we need skilled people. Uh, so so um, there you also have uh, chances. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I think you need to investigate if your skill sets are wanted on the Swedish market. Uh, we do have a lot of shortage of skills and talents, however, but not within every field. And of course, um, Swedish is the language in Sweden, which is uh, spoken. Uh, everyone speaks very good English, however, not in every workplace only English is spoken. So you might need to consider, uh, am I able to learn Swedish? Is Swedish needed in the workplace or in the area where I'm gonna work, live and, and work? Um, I would investigate that first. It, 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 can you get around with only your English skills or maybe your, your other language skills? But always be aware of that you might need to, to learn some Swedish to some extent. Um, also, it's, it's very much um, it's very important to build a network in Sweden. Uh, if you are working for an international company abroad and they have presence in Sweden, I would always first check the opportunity to have an internal transfer uh, because then um, it will be easier. That company will be, be able maybe to arrange a working permit if you need that. 
um, because as a non-EU member you will need uh, a working permit to work in Sweden. 